How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. They are lying to you, manipulating you, trying to force you out of your crypto position right now. We can actually see Bitcoin falling a little bit right now, down to 68.5. I want to explain what's happening and a crazy statement that's made by someone that's supposedly looking out for your best interest. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this. And if you do want to buy cryptocurrency, there is a link underneath the video to Margex where you can trade cryptocurrency using leverage. And there's a link down there to CoinW as well where you can trade cryptocurrency or you can just buy spot Bitcoin, spot crypto to get ready for this next bull run. Now, as you can see, we are down a bit here today, down in the $68,000 range. Bitcoin is falling down from 70 2,500. You know, people will say that we're crashing. People will say that it's falling down, that this is just the beginning. But they are manipulating you. They're trying to they're trying to change your own opinion that you might have to benefit them. Now, what am I talking about? Well, I just saw this tweet. This is from Whale Wire, a 520,000 follower Twitter account that supposedly is the number one finance and crypto letter with over 260,000 subscribers. So they said, since exactly three years ago today, Bitcoin has only risen by a measly 6.3%, still lower than nearly every major stock index and asset class worldwide. 92.7% of the rise we've seen in the last 12 months has been attributed to record-breaking tether money, market manipulation, and ETF hype which are now continuing to slow down as fear or reality slips its way back into the markets. In investing, it's important to get in and out to play the game rather than letting it play you. While things are slightly green to date, we need to focus on sustainability, which clearly lacks uh, considering zero use case, ancient, ancient technology, high price manipulation, and the clear case of greater fool's theory. Okay. So let's let's break this down. This is again coming from a large account that supposedly I'm assuming is bullish on crypto typically, right? Because they have a crypto newsletter. Why else would you set up a, crypt, a crypto newsletter unless you were bullish, right? You wouldn't set up a crypto newsletter just to bash on crypto all the time because the only people that really would sign up for a newsletter are the people that are bullish on crypto. They turned off comments unless you're someone that this person follows or mentions. So let's go through some of the comments. So they obviously they don't want pushback on this. They say that we've only risen by a measly 6.3% since a couple of years ago today. Keep in mind, if you have dollar cost average, if you have bought at any time, if you had started buying at any time in the history of Bitcoin and just bought up until today, you'd be up significantly. Again, unless you started like literally a few days ago. But if you had started three years ago when we were at the peak and kept on buying till today, you would be up th two, three X, right? If you had just started buying anywhere in here and then bought all the way down and then all the way up, you'd be up two to three X, better than just about any asset, right? If you had started buying this bear market, which some people on the channel start buying during the 22, 23 bear market, you would be up anywhere up to five X. Right? Almost everyone that's ever bought is in profit. Okay. Keep in mind, too, they pulled some numbers out of their butt. 92.7% of the rise we've seen in the last 12 months has been attributed to record breaking tether money market manipulation. Okay. 92.7%? Where are they getting this from? <laughs> this is crazy. They also say it's due to ETF hype. Okay. So, yeah, there has been a lot of hype. I talk about the ETFs every day, every other day, because it is the largest amount of buying we've ever seen in Bitcoin. And it's the largest, uh, it's some of the largest entities in the world buying this Bitcoin, pushing it to their financial advisors. We've never seen something like this in our lifetimes, where there is a, a, an asset class that was unattainable to most of the public and to the high, super high net worth individuals that then becomes available. Right. Imagine if all of a sudden uh, real estate is able to be bought right by big institutions. Right. If, if there is no buying and then all of a sudden they're like, OK, you can start buying apartment complexes. 
or you can buy commercial buildings, right? There's gonna be a flow, a huge flow of money to buy those assets. There's gonna be a lot of price discovery. There's gonna be a lot of new ways of thinking, a lot of research, but obviously they can buy that stuff. Like there's just nothing like this that's ever happened before. It doesn't even make sense to think of another asset that institutions can't buy and then all of a sudden can. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of hype. I'm not sure where they're getting this record-breaking tether money market manipulation. I think they're just throwing some words in there. Um, and they're talking about it's important to get in and out and to play the game rather than letting it play you. But if you look at any time in history, the best investors are investors that are dead. They don't do anything, right? If if you had forgotten that you had been uh, buying crypto and then just looked at it years later, you have done much better than anyone that was actively getting in and out of the crypto markets. Same thing with uh, stocks, right? We've seen actually some studies that have been done by, I think it was Fidelity at the time, saying that the best investors are actually dead. Like they're the best investors are the ones that die because they don't touch their portfolios. They're not selling. They're not worried about the market crashing. They just sit on their assets. Same thing here. So be careful. There will be people that try to manipulate you. I think in the end, accounts like this that say that they're bullish on crypto, but then only talk about FUD. Like this is the same account that said that Bitcoin was probably going to $3,000. Accounts like this, I think are just trying to FUD you out of your crypto, cause liquidations, and then go buy it. Like this person actually has a decent amount of uh, influence, 520,000 followers in the 20 minutes since they posted this, 8,000 views. So are they forcing down the market by 20%? No, but they can probably force down a little bit and then buy your crypto for cheap. And we'll see more and more manipulation like this in the future. This is true of any market, right? When CNBC has a, someone come on and speak negatively about Tesla or neg or positively about Tesla or about any other stock, like they're trying to push their book. They're trying to get AUM, into their funds, people that feel strongly that Tesla's overvalued or they hate Elon. They're trying to get money from those people if they're bearish. If they're bullish, they're trying to get more people in. They're trying to give their take. They're trying to push up the stock price. It's the same thing with this, right? It's just a little bit less regulated at this point. So be on the lookout, be ready. There's gonna be more and more manipulation in the future, but that's totally fine because if you have a level head, the volatility is actually good for you. Like traders love volatility and recently we haven't been too volatile. Like we've just been trading in this range. If we if we continue trading this range, I think it's just like a coiled spring. I think it's like a, a, a balloon underwater. You can hold it down for a while, but eventually it's gonna pop back up. So yeah, days like this, I don't mind, right? We have some liquidations. Just be careful out there. Make sure that if you are lever trading, you know what you're doing, that you have stop losses set or that you understand that you could lose it or just go lower leverage. That's why I've been doing a lot, like um, three to five X longs at good positions. That's done quite well. Let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video though. I really do appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.